The field of gut microbiota is really fascinating. If you look on PubMed today in 2022, this is roughly 53,000 papers that have been published since 1977. But if you look over the last 10 years, in fact, this is 51,000 publications. That means that 95% of the publication that available on PubMed came over the last 10 years only. I remember a paper published in 2012 by a group in China also with some uh, European colleagues, demonstrating for the first time on 345 patients suffering from type 2 diabetes that a metagenomic analysis was suggesting that the gut microbiota might be analyzed and predicting the development of type 2 diabetes based on the simple analysis of the microbiota. And they pointed out one key bacterium, which is Akkermansia mucinifila, saying, well, in type 2 diabetic patients, there is an increase in Akkermansia, and because Akkermansia is a mucus degrader, they degrade the mucus barrier, and they will lead to the gut barrier dysfunction, and eventually to type 2 diabetes. Interestingly, at the same time, in fact, a little bit earlier, we obtained in the lab, end of 2011, beginning of 2012, data in rodents utilizing Akkermansia mucinifila in diet-induced obesity and diabetic rodents and mice, and we found that the mice that were treated with Akkermansia were in fact responding better. They had a lower blood glucose, lower gut permeability, lower inflammatory tone, and it was completely in the opposite as this human investigation. But now we know later after this paper and many of the papers have shown that many drugs are changing the gut microbiota. In this first paper, the metformin was a major confounding factor. In other words, why they had an increase in acromantia? Simply because the subjects were treated with metformin. And so now we know, thanks to many other publications, that we have to take into account several by several confounding factors not only the diet but also the drugs and specific key environmental factor including physical activity